Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. A little bit late this month, my my box got lost in the mail, not Mr. Tackle Box's fault, and when I got a hold of them, they were really, really quick to ship out another one. I think I actually got the email before I even got off the phone with the guy, Jasper, over at Customer Service. But a little different this month. For this month, I changed it to an ice box, so this is actually not going to be bad stuff. Uh, I like ice fishing. I, apparently, I'm going to have a 40 degree winter, winter but... I'll uh, fish from the boat like I'm ice fishing if it doesn't actually freeze. So anyway, right to it. It felt light, but then I guess kind of heavy for an ice fishing box. Uh, this is the first time I've ever messed with ice fishing, so I really don't know. But I watched one or two videos from a few months past and before they the, the company changed and they seemed all right. So I wanted, to, I wanted to check it out. Holy crap, this got a lot of stuff in it. It's got a lot of stuff in it, man. Can you help me out? Yep. Invisible lady. Wait, what? What? I got two Invisible lady. things. I don't know. All right. So I got the dibble and then the card, which is the dibble and then card. So where are we starting? Lucky John Nordic, six ninety nine. Lucky John Nordic. Well, while I tried to find that. Here's the sticker. It's the the fish cube sticker. Lucky John. Nordic, there we go. Oh, nice. That is pretty cool. So there we go, and I'll take that out because it makes it all shiny and you can't see it anyway. So the Lucky John Nordic. I don't see a size or anything on here. It says four, but what that is is like the shatter. It's got it's all weight. It's got the fin back. That's even got a little like a dingleberry on it. You see that? It's pretty gnarly. It's got a little dingleberry on there. It's got the uh, the fin. It's got the two. That's that's got some weight to it too. I don't. It doesn't say a size, but that's nice. And it hits down, and you just you know, and it. And a weighted hook. I've seen these before. It's that's got some weight to it. I've never seen one with a little ball on there. That's pretty gnarly. I'm kind of stoked to fish that. I got. Like I said, I got the John boat. So even if we don't get hard water, I'll go out on the. I'll go out in the boat and I'll vertical fish with my with my ice fishing rig off the boat. It doesn't have to be frozen for me. <laughs> All right, so what's next? Northland Tackle Impulse Helium 549. Impulse Tackle. Impulse Helium. There's a lot in here. That's crazy. Impulse, okay, the Helium Fly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one and 150th of an ounce. That's teeny tiny. Um, yeah, it's a fly, size 12 in black. Does that actually have, I think it's got a hook in it. So that's a legit fly. You would just tie that on and then, yeah, it's got a, it's got a bent, you're not going to see that, that well. No. It's got a bent eye on it and then just two little hooks. Not bad. It's like tiny enough that you really can't, I can't get a good view on it. What's next? Keep the hits coming. Sitka Ice Jigging Minnow, yeah. $4.99. Yeah. Here we go. Here's another another jigging minnow. Neither one of these say a size on them, but they are both pretty hefty feeling. This one's pretty much the same design, different colors. It's got the two hooks, all weighted. It's got the tail, and then it's just got a bear. Oh, that's a much bigger a much bigger body yeah those are that's a pretty big nice I guess I picked the right month to get an ice fishing box what is next while well, I try not to stab myself and get this back in there Sitka ice jigs for 49 oh wow Jiminy Christmas I thought them three millimeter uh, frostbite jigs were tiny I can't even like Like, if it shakes, they're all gone, literally, if I... Dun, dun, dun. They're like teeny tiny, and they're all they're all that size. There are three of them in here. All the same color, I think, also. So, yeah. A three-pack that, there, yeah, maybe, a little bit. 
<laughs> Definitely tiny, but I mean, when you're ice fishing and you're vertical jigging, it's not like you're casting it. So I watched the guys on the Frostbite channel switch over to three millimeter and smaller when the five wasn't doing it. So I definitely believe it gets bites. Yeah, nice. Building a nice little ice arsenal. What's next? Blitz, or Blitz Blade 429. That's nice. This is a... Like a a vibra bait, a blade bait. Yeah, sorry. Let me see here. Quarter ounce silver prism. That's nice. Not a resealable package like some of the others, but that's all right. And the, the hooks are sharp. Just a little blade, no face or nothing like that, but couple of hooks got one some of them will have multiple spots to tie your line in to change the angle not bad I don't have any kind of bladed baits like these so it's all it is all all right next on the list it's a big box great water big dipper spoon 329 this is cool it's got like a it's got a a little clip on there that you can put on if you don't want to tie it directly to the spoon. I'm going to make sure not to dump that out so that I can keep that. Yeah, it's got some nice weight to it. Does it say a size? You can look at my head while I look. No size on it, but that's nice. Got a nice little hook. Looks like the weld's nice. I'm not real good at ice fishing, so this is all going to be new water to me. Ha ha ha. Um, man, there's a lot of stuff in this box. What's next? Trigger X Mustache Worm. Oh, weird. 329. Two inches and in bubble gum, and it looks like something out of Aliens movie. Let's see what it. They don't really smell like anything. They're, they're dry, too. They're not wet, but. So you tip that on one of them jigs like that or something and give it a little bit of that action down there on the bottom. Um, made in Indonesia. So that's cool. There's not there's like there's a couple in there. It's not like two or three. There's a good there's a good amount of them in there. Neat. I like those. Those are cool looking. I'll catch fish in the summer on this too. What's next? Ice gear ice master jigs. Three dollars. Alrighty. Two more little teeny tiny jigs for me to leave. To, uh, yeah, those are really, I'm glad I've got a jig box for ice jigs already because these are tiny, tiny. Um, not bad, though. I don't think it says a, uh, see if I get a size on them. No, there's no size on these, but they look like, I'm not sure. Well, the millimeters are for tungsten, so I'm not sure on these. These are lead. I don't think these are, but that'll, that'll look nice. Put a little something on the end of it. What's next? Sitka hookout. Oh, cool. Nice. So we got a little... Hook remover. That's cool. Never had anything like that. Yeah. yeah, neat. Hook remover. I had one and it broke and my backpack top broke off of it. It was gone. What's next? Uh, last item. Bayou Rattler Sona, Sonar Balls. That's new. Shake me, I rattle. They do. I don't know if you would like... Okay, so it shows them on the back. You apparently just run a couple of these on your line above your hook. Maybe use a bobber stop or something like that to hold it in place and so it didn't end up rolling everywhere but or sliding up your line. But, you know, they look like little Nerf balls. And, oh, you might not. I can hear them. Yeah, really light sound. That's kind of cool. It sounds like they got sand. Yeah, in. like sand. That's a really light, light noise. I've heard that in the winter you don't you kind of go away from noisy rattles and stuff. Uh, so that's really light sound. But that would be the last. That's a big box. I think that's maybe it's because it's ice stuff. That seems like one of the biggest ones I've had. So we got these rattles. Let me just go over again real quick. We got these rattles. We got the hook out. We got these two ice gear jigs. Um. The trigger, trigger X, weird alien, mustache worms, the blitz blade bait, which is not there, it's here, but I don't want to get stabbed with it. The great water, 
That was a spoon, wasn't it? Yeah. Big dipper spoon. Big dipper spoon. That's kind of cool looking. That's like a trout looking thing. Uh, the Sitka and the Lucky John Nordic. Those are both some nice baits. Those are, those are pretty gnarly. We also had the Sitka triple pack with the little tiny ones. The Helium Fly, that's a double pack of those. And the sticker. So that is a that's a pretty hefty box for ice fishing. A couple of ones I saw were from a long time ago were kind of small. I'm really surprised with this. This is pretty makes someone go out and fish. Doesn't matter if there's ice. I don't. It's it's cold. It's cold enough to ice fish whether there's ice or not. So <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna get my little ice box together and and maybe try to go out. We're supposed to get a winter or a blizzard. Yeah, we're supposed to get eight to ten inches today and tomorrow so we're gonna see and if, ice too and ice so i have to see if i use snow blower to get down the lake or not but i'm gonna try to get out in the water in the next day or two and get some of these in the water from the boat or from the bank depending on where i can get to and maybe get some fishing on film so thanks for tuning in you guys i hope you like the video and stay safe and tight lines